not know why I did not grab the GoPro. I did? Well, I really didn't know what it was going to be doing. We're just seeing what's down this road. We didn't know. Oh. <laughs> okay. It comes out of the Eagles. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, that's cool. So it hit 14 then. Yeah. Oh, we have to turn there at our house. Uh -huh. You go up there quite a Oh, it's probably a mile. Yes, sir. And you go left, and that goes down by Scotty Up Churches, and that dead ends. And if you go right, uh, it comes out at, on B Highway. That's interesting. Is there any creeks out here? Uh, there's one if you go, if you turn there, well, we're the middle house. Yes, sir. If you turn at our house and go down and, and you don't make a right and you stay straight, there's a, there's a slab down there. And there used to be a pretty good hole of water there. Well, we uh, always uh, go over to Rippy or Cowskin. We only live right up here by yeah. McDonald's. And so. But now, if you go, uh, um, you know where Midway is? Yes, sir. Uh, if you go there at Midway and take a right there at Midway off of Old Five, right. uh, don't take the. Well, if you take the right split, you go down there and, and you cross the creek there. And if you go left, there's two big creeks. You know, well, I think it's the same creek, but it, you know, on down there. Are you ta you're talking about Midway here, not in Mountain Grove? Yeah, no, Midway. Uh, Midway's right down here on Highway Five, where you cross the bridge where the where the old fish hatchery used to be. Okay. 
uh, you, know, you know what I'm talking, when you, when you cross the bridge and then you go up the hill, uh, that's what they call midway. But on 05, that's more what they call midway because there, there was an old store there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was midway between Mansfield and, and Ava. Right. But, yeah. Now, there ain't much down here. There's 11 people lives on this whole road, and we get all kinds of traffic. You won't believe it. I, I, well, like, like uh, see, yeah. probably, we was probably <laughs> saying. Well, I think a lot of time, you know, the GPS, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't pay any attention, but you know the GPS. I think the GPS is just sending them, right? Sending them off on some goose chase. Well, a lot of times we like to go to the airport just to watch the sunset. Yeah. Well, or the we cemetery. Out there. We we was in the pool this evening. We've got a fireplace outside, and we we sat out there this evening and watched the sun go down. Yeah. We'll take the grandbaby up to the airport and just watch the deer. Oh, they were out there the other day. We were yeah. here and. Uh, we just, they were just looking at it. Uh -huh. Yeah, we come home a while ago from Springfield and seen two babies over on the, on the, the Eagles end. Yeah. They say they have trouble with the airplanes landing because one. the deer are on the airport. They're planning. just looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have a wonderful walk. Thank you. Too. You too. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, thank you guys. Have a nice day, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this goes out to 14. That's cool. I guess we might as well carry it on out. Yeah. 14, 11 people live down this road. Wow. And they get a lot of traffic. To, you want to walk one though? Said if you turn right, it said that right.
Well, that'd be cool. I was thinking about that, but uh, I am. Kind of figure. Hey, Mom. Hi. Thanks. Thank you, Mom. Hi, Ken. Hi there. We're out. We're driving around on unknown roads. There's no address for Century Bank of the Ozarks. <laughs> got to put my zipper on. Oh, got it. Thank you, Mom. Yep. Love you, Mom. Love you, Yeah, we're not gonna have this cheap for long, so might as well take advantage of it. So there's so two people was walking, so it was a guy and a woman walking together on the, this wood or where you can Oh this is deal Ah uh, Here, please he take care of deal. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, Mom, for taking the video. Yeah. I saw it. Well, ha -ha. I saw you guys first. Good catch. Thank you. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, <laughs> I saw you guys. Ha -ha. This, that was cool. That means Monday. Yep. A hawk? I didn't see it. It was a doll, a female doll. doll. Yeah, but the hawk, I did not see the hawk in that video a lot. But we at least we saw the doll, so that's cool. We are just driving. Ken, my mom, and I are driving. It's a creek. That's cool.
Oh. Where are we going to go? Left. Left? Into Ava? Or do you want to go that way? Hmm. Yeah, we're about three miles out of Ava. Yeah, because we turned in here and I was like wondering where that was. turned into there? Yeah. There was a car behind us. Well, then you would have came out over by the airport. Yeah. Well, now we know. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. this now. I remember I went to take a picture of a rabbit and a cat went straight for the rabbit and made it move. It was funny. Hmm. Yeah, that was funny. And it's funny and sad at the same time. If you know what I mean. So we made a complete circle. Complete circle, yep. Complete circle, yep, definitely. Where's the 
those called? Cattle what? What? What are they called again? Cattle what? Guard. Both over there. It's white to your left. See it? Left. Lois? That's Ken. funny. I said left. You guys both look to your right. No, Ken, that was Ken. What the? Mm -hmm. Let's try to do something. Yeah, it's yours, Bye, Tim. What a view. I love that view so very, very much. What about you? I love this video too, but it might as well be you too. Yes. <laughs> I'm making the video. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Hi. Mm -hmm. Stop, please. Thank you. She does not like to be tickled. There's smoke. That's what I just said. Look to your left. You guys look to your right. There's smoke. It's white. To the left. Not, not that way. Yes, we're at the airport. We're on airport runway number 31. And we're out here. We're just going to look at the sunset. But now we're looking at cloud sets. And the moon. And looking, interesting looking clouds. You know what great ground we used to say now? On that moon out there? Look at the, what? the moon. Oh, look. I know, what she say? Look, I'll tell you. Wait, tell. I'll tell you as you look up. The moon right there, she said that's God's thumbnail. Could be. I'm saying, well, that's what Grandma said. So every time I see that, I always find that. Okay. So why is this white, not black, the smoke? Probably wood. Wood burns white. It's too much.
I like to go dive to that hill. I don't even know where how far away it is. September 2014. Yep. Theater Atchison. Atchison Theater. Yep. It right. was sitting what was it? It's the up uh see it was cool. We got to see it. Well mom and I and my cousin got to see it. That was cool. A cousin Jimmy. Mom and I, cousin Jim, got to see it. Well, it was cool. It from up a moon. Uh, so, yep, that's why yeah, that was a play that we got to see. It was fun. Yeah. It was Jimmy's. Wait, what? It was Jimmy's no, co worker. Huh, huh. Yeah. I, I am saying that. It was Jimmy's co worker, basically. And they invited, he invited him, and then Jimmy invited us, and that was fun. So, yeah. Jimmy's about is a little bit too much older than I am. So, okay. Yeah, you can see the right smoke, smoke. Looks like it's loud. Cool. Landmark for what? the airport. What do you say again? What? Pilot's Hill or Pilot's Knob way over there and uh, it's a landmark for the airport. That way people know it's in this area. Very peaceful at the airport. Yep, definitely.
You can see the... You can hear the gunstar shots. If you can hear it, you can hear You can see the smoke right there. Way up to there. There's the moon. Thank you. Up to that pool. The pool said. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Not walking back. It was uh, walking downhill, now it's walking uphill. This thing that you know.
I just saw some fireworks just now over there. Oh, this is way better behind those trees. <laughs> it was cool. Oh, there's a car <laughs> driving over there. That's our Jeep. In a way, I'm glad. In a way, I wish I was still there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not to see the city. I could care less about the city. But uh, it's just being around a yeah. family again. But I have a new family. And who are they? Their names are Hannah and Samantha. So what you do last week? Last week, I drove down to Houston, Texas. Me and my son Kevin, his wife Tia, and their son Tyler. We went down to Houston and stayed with his cousin Josh, my nephew. And uh, I got up with my sister, who I hadn't seen in 13 years, which I talked to her on an irregular basis. It's a couple of times a year, maybe. So we're not strangers. We went to Galveston Beach the first day to uh, the seawall. Got down on there and. Uh, played with the, throwing food to the birds and seagulls and they took chips right out of our hands and we got on the ferry and went over to Bolivar Peninsula where we went down to Crystal Beach and got out in the water, very dirty water. And uh, I don't know why they call it Crystal Beach since it was dirty. So anyway, the second day we came back and early in the morning around 10 o'clock we took off for Freeport or Galveston West Beach and got in a boat at a beach house, his, Josh's boss's boat, and went out in the bay and went fishing. We caught lots and lots of catfishes, hardhead, I mean, uh, a stingray, two sharks, and uh, a uh, something, uh, stingrays. Then we uh, came back that night and went to a Mexican food restaurant in which I finally was able to eat enchiladas with chili gravy and uh, onions and cheese on top. It was alright but it wasn't the best. Kevin had a seafood taco which had shrimp that tasted like it was not good. But none of us got sick. But it tasted shrimpy. It didn't taste fresh. The next day we got up and went to the beach again. We went to West Beach and we went to Freeport Surfside and where we went to try to go fishing again and the waves were so rough you could barely stand. I mean they were tossing us around like rag dolls. So we decided forget the fishing we're gonna play in these waves. And it was hard as we could do to stand straight and if you weren't watching a wave would come and slap you and knock you completely over. I flipped totally upside down in the waves. The waves were very very clean and clean water you could see your feet at about three feet deep. Nice and sunny. I got a got a lot of sun. I'm somewhat brown. I got a moderate sunburn, but that's kind of gone by now. So I'm hoping it'll turn to a tan. So my next sta stage is uh, to do some more getting out in the sun. We left uh, Friday morning around 10 o'clock. I also went to where I used to work at American Plant Food and talked to my old boss and bunch of co-workers that are still there and they were happy to see me and uh, the plan has in, gotten bigger and more problems so they said I, I said yeah I wouldn't mind coming here but I don't want to work on all this crap and they go we wouldn't want you to either which was kind of funny you know but I'm glad where I'm at but if they offered me a hundred thousand dollars a year to come back I might think about it and then uh, but that's not going to happen we can work with you guys then. You make a hundred thousand, that'd be three hundred thousand dollars a year. There we go. So, uh, 
Then we went to... Uh, Every time you get home. Oh, it would be 5 o'clock to get off. Every time you get home, be like... And so we were driving and driving and driving and driving. Went through Dallas and then went through a different way where we mostly were going through side road towns. And we got home about 1.51 in the morning, 1.41 in the morning. And... Uh, Did he drop you off first and then... He dropped me off. I got my bag and went in. They went to their house. And Tyler was kind of getting upset throughout the night because he was cranky. I would too after sitting in a car seat for 12 hours. Yeah. But we stopped several times and he got out. So we went to Bucky's and I got some uh, pecan rolls and some other candies and also got some jalapeno popcorn, which is really, really good. So anyway, we're going to let you watch the fireworks now. That was cool. I saw a lightning strike in those clouds to the right. Anything like you're thinking? And so I got some jalapeno popcorn at Bucky's, which is pretty good. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's, it's hot. I mean, it's not overly hot, but uh, it'll get your throat. But it's good and tasty. Sam likes it, and she can't put it down once she starts eating on it. I looks over there. Look, Sam. Way off in the distance, there? there's fireworks. See? There and over there. It's so anyway, I got there and glad to be back. So. Yeah. Love you, Mom. Love you, too. Hi, Ken. Hi there. Hi, Sam.